Good morning and welcome back y'all. So in our last video, we showed you this right here. Us modifying our Happy Jack bed system so we can have two full-size queen beds. And today, the package came in that is the reason why we did all this. And it's outside right now. Everybody, look at Alicia. She's inspecting the packages. We're about to come over there and show you. What do you got going on over here? I'm excited. We have packages. You want to tell them what's in the box or you want me to? I'll let you tell them. Here, hold the camera. Okay. So anyway, guys, right here is our new Brooklyn Bedding Mattresses by RVMattress.com. And they recently reached out to us and asked us if we would be interested in trying their products. And the funny story is, is we already own one of their products. Yes, we do. For 18 months. Well, we decided to go full-time RVing, one of Alicia's main check boxes was we had to get a good mattress <laughs> yes i wanted a comfortable mattress so i made sure we got the brooklyn signature hybrid mattress and it has been wonderful i'm gonna tell you right now that mattress is so good i think I, I, it's better than any mattress we've ever owned in a house absolutely so they reached out to us and asked if there's any other needs that could help us fill well we've already been doing a lot of research because we were thinking about remodeling the toy hauler section to have two full-size queen bunk beds in there and we gave them the dimensions and they said we have the perfect model for you it's actually the wonder loss model in a, a full is it a full queen or yeah it's queen? a standard queen but it comes in all different sizes and all different thicknesses so we ended up going with the eight inch model yeah because we had to make sure that it was not too thick so that the happy jack system would still work correctly. right we have plans to take these guys right here and put them in there and what's cool about this is these guys right here are made in arizona at their own factory and they ship them to you anywhere in the United States for free. And they yes. come in a box just like this. They're actually rolled up and vacuum sealed. Right, you would never know that that was a queen size bed in there. It's and such a small box. Yeah, so it makes it super convenient if you're on the road full time like us. And the, the cool thing is I've already done this once so I know what's about to happen. <laughs> when you unbox this thing, you're like, there's no way that's a queen size. I never size. got to see it. So oh, I'm yeah. excited to see this part. So how heavy is it? It's it's not real heavy. So it says super easy. Set up instructions, unbox, unroll, and watch it expand. I can't wait. That's so crazy. <laughs> that, that's a mattress. There it is. Queen size mattress. Good to go. <laughs> are we starting on the top or the bottom? We're going to do the top. We are. Because I'm going to get tired oh, the yeah. longer it gets outside. <laughs> By the way, if you're in Texas right now, you know what we're talking about. Yes, it's It's like hot. 11 billion degrees out right now. Yep. Okay, we got the saran wrap off. Yep. Now we unfold. Right. It's almost a queen. Not mm -hmm. quite yet. Oh my goodness. It's actually, I think it's folded in half. So are you gonna take it, are you gonna put it up there first? Oh yeah, for sure. Where, wherever you want to expand is where you need to put it. Okay. All right, there it is. That's so crazy. You ready to sleep? I'm ready to see this blow up. <laughs> Look, no, no, that's it. You sleep with this. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, that's... So it offers protection. <laughs> that's not going to work. No, anyway, we're about to cut the vacuum seal, and it's going to go... Whoop. It goes fast? Uh, maybe like a minute or two. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. And really, it probably tomorrow will be bigger than it is today. It took, yeah. it took probably a day, 24 hours to get fully... Four hours. Okay. Not beating it. <laughs> and I'm no help. <laughs> Being nine months pregnant, I, I just film. And I'll pull this side. There we go. Ooh wee. <laughs> it's a lot bigger now. 
Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Yeah, so it should fluff up. A yeah, because you can see it's got a little curve in it right yeah, here, but corners. that'll that'll all even out. It fits perfect. Well, that's what they're known for. <laughs> right? <laughs> so the first thing that is pretty evident is look how much yes. better it works up there. I love that. So our last mattress was so thick that when you went all the way to the top, it was actually against the ceiling. So you couldn't run the AC back here because it covered up the suction vents. Right. So now we have plenty of room right there to run the AC without it being blocked by the mattress. And it's not as heavy like before. That's what I was just thinking the Happy Jack sounded so much happier going up <laughs> this time because it used to sound like it was a little bit struggling. Oh, it was bad. Like a lot was, of times I'd have to help it. Right. We had a residential queen just from our house that we had back here before and it was so much heavier. So this is much, much better. Round two. All right, you gonna do this one? Yep. Oh, am I? I no. I'm sure you're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna film. <laughs> Look, the instructions are right there. I understand. It's the weight that's a problem <laughs> for me. Even though these are lighter, they're still too heavy for me. How do you do that? That's cool. Much easier. That's why they send you two. So, so that worked out easy. That's why they send you two. <laughs> First one you struggle, the second one you figure out the trick. You, you learn their tricks. <laughs> so you just unfold it, and there it is. Without, Almost beat it. I know, without that top bunk being in the way, I think it's much easier. RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus, their mattresses are made right here in the U.S. and shipped conveniently to you for free. They offer different firmness options, heights, and dimensions, even RV specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. So when we were searching for mattresses for back here in our toy hauler, there were a few things that we needed. The first one being size, and the second one was that we wanted it to be stain resistant for the girls. All right, so size is because we have a happy jack system and it runs on this track right here. And we need it to be eight inches or less because when the top bed is locked into the lock position up there, we need it to allow airflow to get to the AC unit. Also, we needed the bottom one to be eight inches because whenever the top one right here is locked right here, it runs out of space before it can unlock because the way the happy jack system works. Also, we need it to be stain resistant because our kids are kids. Also, our dog sleeps back here. So we didn't want to have brand new mattresses that couldn't hold up to what the kids are about to do to them. Exactly. And also, the great thing about this Wonderlust model is it comes in five different uh, dimensions. So you can get 6, 8, 10, 12, or 14 inches. So I love the new setup here with our new Brooklyn bedding mattresses. These are the Wonderlust. And I know we're gonna love them because we've had our signature back there for 18 months now. Right. And the good thing is, all three of them, this one, this one, and the one in our room, come with a 10-year warranty. Yes. If you're worried about giving this mattress a try, rvmattress.com offers a 120-day sleep trial. So you have four months to decide if you like it. And if you don't, they'll give you a full refund. Now, we know we won't need all that because we've had one for 18 months and we love it. We love our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and we think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, go to rvmattress.com. You can also check the link below or enter rvmattress.com forward slash paving new paths to save yourself 20% on a new mattress with the code paving new paths. So I didn't tell you about the other stuff we ordered yeah. from them. <laughs> this will be a surprise for you. We have a few accessories. <laughs> All right. First one, we have. I can't even say that. A Talele latex <laughs> pillow, high loft by Brooklyn Bedding. Yep. We have that one. We have a second one. So those are actually for our bedroom. They're king size bed or king size uh, pillows. pillows. Yes. And then we have two mattress toppers. This is a cooling mattress protector. Yes. And those, even though these are stain resistant, I'm going to go ahead and put the mattress protectors on just because we have kids that are potty training and dogs that sometimes have muddy feet. So I figured an extra layer of protection wouldn't hurt. So these come kind of hey, like Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> so I got to do the mattresses and you get to do the pillows? <laughs> I have the heavy duty hard work here. <laughs> so they come kind of like the mattress. They're all rolled up and you just... You better hurry. <laughs> it's, you go have yourself a situation. So 
I got us queen size pillows for in there. I'm embarrassed to say that my pillow I currently have, I've probably had for like 15 years. So I'm excited to have new ones. And they just fluff up. Now that our whole bed project is complete back here, it's time to work on the other things that Alicia wanted done. <laughs> so in the last video, we talked about the uh, peel and stick tiles. We went and found some from Lowe's. Yes. And she wants me to put them right here. So this thing right here falls off every time we move. Yes. It's really not cut right. That's why. Plus, I hate it. It's not <laughs> very pretty. <laughs> so that's coming off. Yep. And that's going right there. Yep. Something like that. It's going to be beautiful. We're also going to put it right over here behind the coffee maker on this area right here. Yep. You think we should show them the sneak peek? I think you should. You're so anyway, gonna be impressed. <laughs> I wanted to practice before I did it on camera because I thought it'd be easy. It actually took some learning. There was a <laughs> learning curve. I, I I messed up a few of those practicing. That's okay. But our bathroom's already done. Let's go see. So this is our bathroom. It looks so good. It lightened it up so much in here. It's actually really easy to do once you figure out how to do it. Awesome. But, but the first couple ones were not were not very good. Yeah. Also, I love that this right here is almost like a perfect match to what the wallpaper is and the trim. So I think we picked good. So anyway, we're going to do the peel and stick tile on those. Yep. And then we have a few more projects before Baby Boy gets here. Yes. Because once Baby Boy gets here, I think we're shutting down the projects for a little while. And by we have a more, more projects, he actually means he has more projects <laughs> that I've given him. <laughs> the, the only projects he's working on. That right getting there. this out <laughs> all right guys so we're about to start our tiling project and the first place we're going to start is right here on the fireplace so we're going to pull this trim piece off right here which comes off every time we move and we're going to make room for a place to put our tile so you see there's a giant hole right here we're going to have to address that before we put the tile on but I'm going to go ahead and get the fireplace removed and then we'll talk about our next step. If you know we're taking this fireplace out, it's just two screws. One right there and one right there. And this front glass piece should come off. With the front glass piece removed from the fireplace, it gives you access to these three screws right here and these three over here. So we'll take those out and pull the whole fireplace out. All right, once you pull the fireplace out, you have this plug right here. You just unplug it and then it's good to get out of the way. So we have the trim piece removed. We have the fireplace removed. And I went ahead and removed all the nails that were used to secure the trim piece to the outside edge of the fireplace. Now, let's talk about that right there. This opening right here, I actually did not know that was there. I found out that together with you guys just a minute ago on camera. So now after looking at it, the only way I'm gonna be able to do the tile to the fireplace is we need to go get a thin piece of plywood and cut it to fit this area and leave a hole right here for the fireplace and secure that to this area right here. And then we'll install our tiles on top of that. I don't know how I thought I was going to be able to do this project without going back to Lowe's at least one time. But we're going to head to Lowe's, get our piece of plywood, and then I'll show you how it looks when we get done cutting it out. So we're back from Lowe's. We got our new piece of plywood cut and installed, and now we're ready to start prepping the surface for the peel and stick tiles. And to do that, we use this right here, the TSP phosphate free cleaner. So you just mix some of that into some warm water and you take a rag and you wipe down in the entire surface that you plan on using glue so that you can make sure it adheres properly. Now that we have our surfaces prepped, we'll start taking our tile, this stuff right here, and we'll start laying it out to see where we want to start. Because the overlap sections on this side, I always start on this side. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut a straight edge right here, which is a relative term in a camper because this whole area right here is actually not straight. There's a half inch difference between the top and the bottom lengthwise that way so we're just gonna make it work the way the best way i know how so we'll go one piece at a time so i'll trim that to fit and once i like it i will actually flip it over peel off these uh peel tiles and i'll spray it with this right here this 3m str uh, high strength contact adhesive this actually is awesome because on these if you just stick it to the wall it sticks really good and doesn't move once you spray this on it has about 30 minutes for it sets so you can actually stick it on the wall and move it to where you need it to be before it actually uh, starts curing.
so we had the first level of the peon stick tiles on the fireplace i gotta finish the rest of it up right there i'm also gonna do this wall over here but instead of making you guys watch me work the rest of the afternoon how about you just enjoy what it looks like when it's done There it is, there is the finished product. And besides having to go to Lowe's and get a piece of plywood to cover the hole up there, the fireplace was actually pretty easy and it turned out great. Ashlyn also has been requesting that her bathroom get done, so we came back here in the toy hauler bathroom and we took care of the backsplash behind her sink. It actually looks pretty good. We also made Alicia happy by taking care of this wall right here in the kitchen. I actually love the way that turned out. That was actually the easiest one to do because it's so many pieces and it's a big area and i only had to cut the two end pieces down there and our master bathroom the one we sneak peeked you the one we practiced on this was the hardest one because of all the cutting and and all the angles you had to do to make it work overall i love the way this turned out but now that this is done we're gonna head outside we're gonna wash the roof and the awning all right so now that we're home and taking a little break from being on the road we need to get up there and clean the roof and the awnings so our little trip out to florida and georgia we parked underneath a lot of oak trees and our awnings and our roof both have these little stains right here so we're gonna crawl up there we're gonna wash the roof and we're gonna wash the awnings so we're up here on the roof and overall it's not too terrible it's just a little dirty every slide topper is really dirty that one that one and this one most of all all of our awnings are dirty or have the oak tree stains and back here you can really see the oak tree stains on the roof now we have rv armor as our roof and the only maintenance is to just clean it and inspect it there is no more having to put dicor down every six months all we gotta do is just keep it clean now i'm gonna mix together some dawn and some water and we're just gonna scrub the roof and let it dry So I got the roof cleaned up pretty good. Now I'm gonna work on the awnings. I'm gonna use this stuff right here. Alicia found this on one of the Facebook groups and said this works wonders on awnings. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna spray the awning down, let it soak. We're gonna scrub it with our brush and then we'll go down the bottom side and do the bottom side of the awnings. all right you can see the roof is really clean now and so is the awnings and the slide toppers even back here on the back corner where the oak stuff was really bad that can was really clean so anyway we're gonna climb down there and we're gonna wash the bottom side of the awnings now so we had the top of the awnings clean and all the bottom looked like this because when you roll them up wet like when it starts to rain all that stuff right there just hangs out inside the awning while it's rolled up and then it dries like that so we're gonna repeat the process with the spray stuff Spray the bottom, we're gonna scrub it with a brush, and then we'll rinse it off. All right guys, so the roof and the awnings are clean. That stuff did a pretty good job. Even right here on the middle one, it got it pretty clean, 
There's still stains right there from those leaves, but I don't know if those are gonna come off because they sat there for too long. Overall, that stuff did a pretty good job. I'm gonna let these awnings dry off before I roll them up and I'm gonna start picking up all my tools from this job. And that's probably gonna wrap this video up, but stay tuned because in our next video, we get to meet baby boy. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll have a good one.